Well, I know you didn't, obviously you didn't play the other night, but just getting into the game the other day, yeah, the home game, how, how exciting was that for you and just to be back able to play? No, it was a blessing just to be out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been a long time since I've been out on the court. I've worked really hard throughout the process, just trying to get my legs stronger and just get better, you know? And uh, it just felt great to be out there with my teammates again. How, how, are, how are you feeling physically? I feel, I feel really good, you know? I'm still just taking it one day at a time, just continuing to get stronger, get better, get my feel back, and I'm just ready to go. How tough was it sitting out all that time? I mean, you're, you're, you want to get on the court and everything. How tough was that? It was definitely tough, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I could bring a lot to the table in terms of energy and effort for my team. But I mean, I just tried to, from the sideline, be as, as positive as influence to my teammates and encourage them as much as I can. But were you were you worried or, or that it might not happen, that you might not be able to jump out there? I didn't really look to like do dates or win or anything. I just was focused on how can I get myself as ready as possible. And when that time comes, will I be ready to go? And that's what, that's what my main focus was throughout the whole process. Didn't that taste the other night? Was that now you really just want to get out of there again? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I was just, like I said earlier, it was a blessing just to be out there and, like, I mean, hopefully I get another opportunity. Like, like I said, anywhere the team needs me, I'm going to keep encouraging and um, bring energy in all types of ways. Did you hear the ovation you got from the crowd when you came in? Yeah, I heard it, but I was, I was still, like, it was a surreal, like, feeling just to be back out there. Like, it was just so much going on. It was a blessing. What's it like having another Putnam kid on the team now? I mean, I knew, I knew Cook, um, like, before we, before he came up because I was his host and... Um, I used to go to the games because my little brother's still there. So, I mean, we already knew each other on a personal level. So, it was good to have him here. He's a real good kid, hard worker. I feel like he's going to bring a lot to the table when he's finally able to play. He, wasn't he on, was he on a team on Putnam when you were your last year at Putnam? Was he like, so he didn't have to come there? No, no, no. He wasn't, he wasn't on my team. He was with Hamadou the year after me. And then, oh, um, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Have you and you you've helped him kind of adjust here a yeah, little bit? Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, coming mid coming mid year is kinda of, pretty tough just different to come now. So I just try to teach him anything I I, I can I know or I, any way I can help him, I try to help him out, you know. But he's he's been picking up really well. He's getting the custom in practice and yeah. looking good? Look, yeah, he's looking real good. Yeah. And co coach said you might uh, tomorrow might be a game where you could see a little bit of run considering there's small smaller forwards up front. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, I mean, we spoke a little bit about it, but I mean, uh, if he does, I'm going to be ready to go, you know what I'm saying? But um, if not, I'm just keeping encouraging my teammates who are in the game and who are going to be playing. But regardless, whoever's in the game, I know on our end, we're going to give our effort and play our hardest and try to come out with a win. Do you deal with, you know, post-workouts, deal with much pain? Do you have ice down again? What's it like kind of after you go through the workout? No, I don't deal with much pain at this moment. But um, what, what I do is I just I just have a, like a routine that I get into for myself just to keep myself ahead of the, the eight ball. And I do rehab, prehab before I work. After I work, I do recovery. And so that's just been my routine to not even get to that point where I feel pain.